what else do I got? That yeah. is a great question. We've hit a lot of stuff. Um, so do you feel like real estate has changed since like before the pandemic to now? Like is real estate different or is it just like it's right back to where it was again? Like no difference. Have we learned any lessons? Have, have we, are we using any of that technology we started using before or did that slip back into the abyss? Like, I think a lot's changed. I don't, I don't think anybody can say that a lot hasn't changed. The way they build buildings has changed from work from home spaces. The way people look at their homes has changed because now they're going to be looking at uh, work from home spaces or the fear of like a future pandemic, the location on where they can afford to live. Right. There's been a lot. I think there's been a lot that this whole inflation and interest rate hike cycles now given people a new found appreciation for um, maybe the smaller things in life where they're saying, you know what, I'm OK just to be able to stay here because I don't have a mortgage or I have a small mortgage and I can afford this. And even yeah, though thank God I always used to dream of having shit. a big house, but imagine if I was in this situation in a much bigger house. Right. So I think there's a lot of things that have changed. Um, definitely. But well, how about realtor that... behavior and the way that like oh, the uh, appraisals oh, are going crazy, crazy. They, we've had so many shifts. Most of them are positive. Most of them are positive. Like for us to go into a multiple offer situation when there's 30 people and we all go out and sit outside the house waiting in our cars and then you go in and you present. Is that happening? Come again? back outside the house and then you go back inside and you present and then you go back inside the, you know, you keep doing that back and forth three times. And then you're there for like four hours. That's still happening? No, but before that's what it was like. Oh, and then the oh. agent calls you afterwards at about 11 o'clock at night. It's like, TK, yeah, you know, we really appreciate. You know, no, we I think, do like. You know what? You 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 actually oh. had, you know, you were really close. It was a great number, you know, this and that. And da, 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 da. Uh, Is there anything I can do to. Uh... The sellers accepted the other oh, offer and, um, you know, have a you. drive home tonight in the blizzard. You fucking asshole. Right. And these yeah. are the things that used to happen. So now it's that would time. Happens. DocuSign. Now it's all done in the same way, but just digitally. So you're not sitting in the car. You're all you're waiting like a around. Zoom waiting room for your turn to speak or no, something just, like that. You just wait in your basement in the corner, biting your fingernails. Biting saying, your oh fingernails. my God, I'm about to sell a house. I better. I, better, I need this I better fucking sale, this. TK. I need, I need this, this really fucking money, money right now. This is crazy. crazy. But um, the other thing is um, showing procedures. Broker Bay is a game changer. DocuSign's a game changer um DocuSign was pandemic induced that you guys weren't using that before induced. i was no. using it a long time but yeah. the, the main thing was is the other agents had no clue and so they're like look i gotta go and see my client tonight right. and i'll get the signature now even a 70 year old agent is saying yeah you know i DocuSign it i got it yeah. back i'm like okay awesome we got hmm. a deal. so so there's that there's that and so what else has changed so that that's about it right no, open houses. Things. We're still doing open houses, or is that I by don't know appointment? Why, but people are still doing open houses. Open but... houses are back. So, so appointment time. So appointment, uh, like overlapping things like that. People are a little bit more respectful. Overall, the buyers really changed tune. It used to be like this is the truth. The buyers used to walk into people's houses. Actually, you know what? This is coming back. Buyers used to walk into houses and just disrespect the sellers' houses as if they owed the money. Like they would walk in, they'd like leave their shoes on, they would leave lights on, mess up the place and walk out. Like they owned it like really bad. Like that used to happen a lot when when we had a lot of traffic on showings. During the pandemic, it was so respectful. Everyone's like putting on the little booty covers and gloves and like asking permission to turn on a light. So recently I found that there's-, there's And I touch to... the switch? Is that against the rules? Oh, right? And so man. people now are being a little bit more- free uh willing so you have to just be careful prepare the sellers for that make sure that they understand that our job is to drive traffic to the property and, and make sure that as many people see it so that they get the most amount of money and i can't control every person while it was in the property it was nice actually during the pandemic when we would look at houses like that i get it from the sales perspective that like the more people around and like the bigger the buzz like the better it is for the sale price but there was something nice about walking around and having time and getting to talk out loud you know without tipping your hand and you know mm -hmm actually looking around without like somebody else being in the fucking room you want to go into. Yeah. Like as far as our actual experience for the buyer, um, it'd be nice to keep that. But I mean, 
we're Guess back to overlapping showings. We're back for sure. I mean, that's a sales strategy, right? People. No, it's not. It's just of a course thing. it is. It's not bullshit. It's not a sales strategy. Bullshit, man. Listen, when we were in the furniture business, we used mm. to have like you. What, you still got you still got the sale going on right now? Yeah, sales still going on. Shelter Furniture on Caledonia. Check it out. Going out of business. Big sales. Go check it out. Thanks, TK. But when when different furniture business, but what 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 was I even saying? What the hell were we talking about? Um, buyers being in this house at the same time making competition. When we had so many people in the furniture store buying stuff in the middle of the showroom around the desk, even if it was five people, it seemed like everybody was buying and it would make people feel like there was a frenzy going on. It would make people want what we had going on in there. And I promise you, from a psychology perspective, a lineup out the door, okay, and bumping into everybody and squeezing past everybody in the bathroom to see a house has an effect on the psychology of the buyer. I agree. Right. So the reason why that won't come back where you have a nice little showing by yourself and you got a half an hour and everybody's respectful and blah, 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 is because it's beneficial to the sale price. It, it is. Be. It's a tactic. I've never made the decision to Based allow on this? double bookings oh, because I feel on. like people will walk around the house bumping Make into each sure other. Sure, you only book people. Maybe from I don't 11 know what I'm doing, 12. but you try to get you try to get more <laughs> offers. Uh, that's going to help. But as far as you know, it's just a scheduling thing. You know, if people if it's a vacant <laughs> house and you can allow people to get in, you're getting lots of showings. Allow double bookings. You you know you want more people to get in there. So, well, TK, it's time to bring our guest on. We've made them wait long enough. It's been a wonderful episode. I think TK. Yeah. That was a quite enjoyable conversation. And was, yeah. we hit little, everything we're, on we're my list. A little short today because I got uh, an appointment. I got a couple of things minutes. going on that uh, we can save for another day. Hopefully by the day. time we talk about them, they will be positive instead of negative. I'm trying to get a mayor negative. candidate on the show. I, I put out there in Twitterland that uh, Justice Queen should run for mayor. Well, I'm trying to get someone who's already, um, you know, signed up. Why? Okay, let's do it. Why? I want to hear what they have to say. Do I you? Have a guy. Do you? You have a guy? I don't have a guy. I've asked. You the guy. know a guy who? I don't. Know maybe has guy. a guy. No one. But it'd be nice to get someone on the show who talk who wants to talk real estate and what Toronto needs to have. That'd be cool. I wonder yeah. if anybody out there has a connection that could make that ha happen. Or help yeah. us do that. If you got yeah. a, if you got a, a, a connection with someone running for mayor who wants to be on the show, and you're listening at the moment, and you're still listening at the and moment. You're still listening at the moment. Weird, but well, if you are and you haven't subscribed, now's a good chance to do that. We appreciate you. Drop a comment. I'll make sure I reply. Yeah, I have happens. not been very good at replying lately. He's busy. He's got lots of Sometimes I, like I to have to work. Yeah. Sometimes. And I will uh and I'll see you guys next week. Thanks, TK. Thanks for being on the show today. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. So now TK, let's do uh something that I can edit into the beginning for please sub and all the things that what we're doing. What do you mean? I did it already. I did a great job. Do you want to use that one? Yeah, why not? All right. We can use that one. It's great. I liked that a lot. Thought it was great.